I think that's your word. That shit about do it. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Oh my God. How long has it been since we have engaged in a live stream where we are cooking, okay? How long has it been? Jesus Christ. Hot. Well, well, hi, everybody. <laughs> hey, I know it's been a minute. Um, I know that I have been busy selling you all types of goodies for your kitchen and whatnot. So, again, deal with it. All right, but we're here today, okay? Um, in truth, well, let me tell you what happened. And let me tell you how blessed I am, okay? I'm so blessed. I get a chance to go um, around the country cooking for people, doing um, dining with Darius Cooks, right? And yesterday, uh, day before yesterday, um, a beautiful lady came and she had a gift for me. And I was like, well, what's the... I don't feel like this is censored. Hold on, y'all. I'm like, well, what's the gift? What do you have? And come to find out, she watches my live streams. And one of my favorite rums in the entire world is called Zacapa. Now, if you know me, you know I like to frequent a little piece of Mexico every once in a while, Okay. And I ain't been to Mexico in a minute because I've been too busy working and traveling for work and all that good stuff. So she bought Mexico to me. Okay, so this is a copper. And really, when it, it see it, I'm, it made it back safely in one piece. Okay, really, when it comes to the copper, you could mix it, but all that mixing ain't really of God like that. Okay, so there's really only, I feel like. Uh, just a few pair ways that you could... This is a beautiful gift, is it not? And I said, let me tell you one thing I'm going to do. Use it. Let me tell you one thing I'm going to do. Drink it. Okay? Now, the codes for tonight are still active. Um, somebody put them on the screen for me. People are going to be asking. You got three codes, all right? Odd, <laughs> concerning, and denied. Okay, so you have three codes that um, that all can work. Odd, concerning, or denied. ShopDariusCooks.com. Anything you want. I think earlier we had marked the uh, some skillets or something out of stock or something, but everything's reloaded back on except for the Regal wine glasses and the pressure cookers. So the pressure cookers will take, oh, you know, about eight months to come in. And I should have Regal glasses any day now because I anticipated this, all right? Okay, so really simply, I'm using my Darius Cooks cutting board. You can get that. And I'm also using my Darius Cooks Everyday Knife, both items available for you at shopdariuscooks.com, okay? Um, let's see what we're going to use. Let's use a glass. We'll use a regular little glass. All right. You know we need some ice. Okay, that's going to be important. Let me grab some ice. a little cocktail okay so i have straight ice okay i'm gonna add in oh you know a shot or two ugh, of zacapa any rum will work but this is a beautiful rum I mean, it's a gorgeous 
room. Look at the color. Look at that. Okay. Uh, you know how we get Dion. Okay. Now in Mexico, I normally like to use. And hold on. Do you do you know that I said Diet Coke? Y'all y'all think y'all slick. Diet Coke used to have the fiery Diet Coke, the cherry, the lime, nothing. They said them shits are over. Okay, so in here, I'm gonna do the rest of the way on Diet Coke or whatever you got, Pepsi or whatever. And then I like mine kind of like puckerish. You know what I mean? Like very, very puckerish. So I'm gonna do a whole half of a squeeze of lime juice in mine, okay? And then a little spoon for a little stirration. And we have a Zacapa rum and Diet Coke, which is how you're supposed to enjoy this. You don't want to do too much with mixing it with daiquiris and all that. I mean, you could if you wanted to. Mm. At this time, we are asking all visitors to please stand. If this is your first, second, or third time joining us, we do want to take a moment and just welcome you to tonight's service, okay? You are not here by any accident. You are here by God's providence. And we are hoping that something is said and encourages your heart to come back again. Now, at this time, we have our impact agents. They're coming down the aisle. They're going to hand you an information card. We do ask that when you go around for offering, you take that information card and hand it into uh, the uh, basket, and then we will be in contact with you. Now, for all of our new visitors, please come see us at the information table in the West Vestibule. Thank you. The East Vestibule is going to be busy with all of our seniors being tested for rectal itch, okay? You'll hear more about that later, but come to the West Vestibule when service over, and you can claim your free gift, all right? We have a new welcome song, and I'd like to welcome you this evening. Blocking you blesses me, oh, blocking you blesses me. If you try, we gonna let you fly, cause blocking you blesses me. Mm -mm. Blocking you blesses me, oh, blocking you blesses me. If you try, we gonna let you fly, cause blocking you blesses me. You may be seated in his presence. Don't you feel welcome? Hmm? Don't you feel welcome? Because if you try, huh, we're going to let you fly. Oh, blocking you, blocking you. Let's make, let's cook. Okay, well, I'm up here playing with y'all. We, really, we got real work to do. Okay. All right, I'm going to pull out the big boy. I'm going to pull out the, you can do this by hand and everything would be okay if, if you did it by hand, but why do it by hand when the kitchen and the aid can do it for us, okay? Just in case anybody's asking for the codes, y'all get them the codes, okay? You got three codes to choose from. Odd is one code. Concerning is the second code and denied. Denied gives you 70% off all cookware, enamel cookware. Uh, odd gives you 50% off one code, one half of the stuff. Denied the other half. Oh, there's a fourth code, December 22. December 22 gets you $100 off Dining with Darius Cook's tickets. So, you know, listen, you got codes, 
I got codes. All God's children got codes. Okay. All right. Let's get some butter going. Um, Y'all give me a second. I'm going to see if I have some that I had out at room temperature. I did, but I don't know where it's at. So I'm going to get this new butter and we're just going to work the new butter. It's important that the butter be at room temperature, but I think I see one. Hold on. I think I see one. You got to look and look again. I got it. Okay, so one of the things I don't do is I do not refrigerate my butter. Oh my God. Okay, everybody calm down. I do not refrigerate my butter. There is no need for cold butter unless you're making biscuits, scones, or pie dough. Okay, other than that, room temperature butter shall not be our portion this evening, okay? So, two sticks, salted or unsalted. It doesn't matter. It's completely up. It's your personal preference, okay? Because we got to add salt. You got to add salt in here anyway, all right? Okay, now we need some sugar. Let me see what I got. I got some right here. I'm going to eyeball two cups. Pray for me. Okay. That's about one cup. That's about the other cup. Okay. That's sugar. Public sugar work just like anybody else sugar. Okay. Okay. Then you want to put this on the mixer and let this get to go, okay? While we sip our cocktail. Please go pour you something, all right? Please go pour you. The Zacapa is so smooth. With that Diet Coke, normally in Mexico, I normally get it with Zacapa and Fresca. Either Zacapa or Fresca or coconut rum and Fresca. It's so good. But this Zacapa and Diet Coke. Well, let me tell you why I don't put the butter in the refrigerator. Because the butter go in the refrigerator, you get ready to make your toast, and then you be shamed. You get ready to get your nice warm bread to spread your butter on, and then you be shamed talking about why is tearing up my stuff? You keep it at room temperature, it's ready to go at any given point, okay? <coughs> now, start this on low, and then you can gradually push it up, okay? We need a couple of eggs in here. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back down and I'm gonna add me two eggs in here. Here's one. Two eggs at a time. I mean, one egg. <laughs> one egg at a time. That's what I meant to say. Okay, so that's one egg. And this is the other egg, okay? Like that. If you're not good at cracking it with one hand, put it in a bowl or something first, okay? You do that while I do this, okay? Okay, let that whip a little bit. Then we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients, okay? We're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. The first ingredient we're gonna add, a little tinge of baking powder. Don't you put no baking soda in here. Talk about why did it come out right, Darius? 
Yo, at, you you know why I didn't come out right. You're being trifling, faking power, okay? Then, whenever you're baking, you need something to offset. So a little bit of salt always offsets your sweetness and it brings out the flavor of things a little bit more. Okay. Now we have to add in some cornmeal, okay? If you had, I didn't, I forgot to get some. But with this pound cake cornbread, I like to use half butter, half cream cheese. I forgot the cream cheese, child. And I did it on Instacart. How I forgot it on Instacart is beyond me. But you do half and half and then you'll be good to go, okay? All right, I'ma eyeball about a cup and a half of cornmeal. You can use fine cornmeal is the best because it won't have that grittiness to it. So if you can find um, um, fine, <laughs> woo, finely ground cornmeal, okay, you'll be good to go. So I want to eyeball, hold on, this in my way. I'm going to eyeball about a cup and a half of finely ground cornmeal. You can use yellow cornmeal. You can use white cornmeal. Or let me tell you what you could do. They could, you could mix them together and it'd be biracial. You know what I'm saying? TikTok, what's up, y'all? I ain't seen TikTok in forever. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start fooling with y'all a little more TikTok, okay? I promise. Okay, I said about a cup and a half, right? Okay, that's about the half. And then that's about the cup right there. Okay. Also, we need some all-purpose flour. Okay. You also need all-purpose flour. Cup and a half. I'm gonna eyeball it. Thank you. Okay. Oh, that's probably cup right there. And that's probably the half right there. That's, we did that. Did that real fast. <laughs> Ooh. Started on low. Or else you're gonna be wearing it. All right. Lastly, we just need some buttermilk. Three codes, four codes. ShopDariusCooks.com. If you want tickets for Dining with Darius Cooks, December 22. Anything else on the site? You have Denied is code one. Odd is code two. And Concerning is code three. All right? Put whatever you want in the cart. Put all the codes in and then hit submit. All right? Now, if you don't hit submit, I mean, if you don't hit apply, and then you email me talking about some, I forgot to hit the code, I'm gonna forget to read your email. Okay, enough buttermilk to bring the whole thing together. It's about a cup, all right? About a cup or so, cup and a half of buttermilk. Let's see what we got. Pound cake cornbread right here in front of us. Yes. If there as if there wasn't enough ways to eat cornbread, okay? Pound cake cornbread. Now I like to add the buttermilk in at the end, because that's gonna ensure that we have a really beautiful batter, super like um, creamy, but also moist. Because the last thing you want in a pound cake, especially in cornbread, is for that thing not to be moist at all, okay? And the thing about the mixer that I love is that it incorporates all of the air that we need. <laughs> okay. 
It incorporates all of the air that we need. We'll come back to this because I want to do this, this brown sugar butter situation that's going to go on the pound cake cornbread. Now, this is something. Let me tell you something. If you want to serve this at Christmas coming up this weekend, you, you can do that because this is going to it's gonna F them up. They're gonna be like, what? What was that? And you're gonna say, oh, a little cornbread I threw together. Okay? That's what you're gonna say. Oh, oh, this little thing, this was a little cornbread that we just, you know, a little something. I seen this fat boy online. He did something like this, and I said, that's probably delicious. It is, okay? All right, get you some Baker's Joy. You ain't nothing if you're not using Baker's Joy. I mean, you could use old school. Um, old school is the butter and the flour. You could use that. But why when they make this? Okay, I'm going to put this in my two pan. Real good. Okay. And I'm gonna even out my um, my batter. Let me hold on. Let me add a a touch more flour. Hold on one second. Some tell me I'm about to be shamed if I don't if I don't let it rise properly. Okay. All right. This is a little better. This is actually much better. It needs a little more flour. All right. This looks like pound cake batter to me. You know what pound cake looks like, right? So then all we do is we put this in and we just even it out. All right? Just even it out. All over, scraping down the sides. Sometimes, every once in a while, I'll add me a little bit of um, a little bit of vanilla to this. Every once in a while, depends on how I'm feeling. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes I feel like falling in love. I'm in the mood to f something up. Okay, maybe you'll see stars. Okay, and then we're just going to beat it down a little bit. Hold on. I got some on the board. You're going to shake it out a little bit. And then that's it. This goes in the oven. Um, I put the eggs in already. You missed it. You came in late. Don't come to church late talking about some start over pasta. No. 350. All right. Then that goes in there. I don't know about you, but I think I need a refill on my beverage. I thought I just saw a towel. Hold on, where I do it? I feel like I just had a towel. I really did, and I don't know what the hell I did with it that fast. But I'm going to use this one instead. Okay, let's refill our beverage because she done got it low. And it don't make no sense to be in service without a cocktail. All right? And we're going to work on this chicken next. So y'all get ready, okay? We're going to work on this chicken next, okay? For my cocktail, I have some ice. And this is Zacapa rum, okay? I get mine from Mexico when I go down there to Playa del Carmen. It'd be amazing, okay? Then I'm gonna finish up. So you see how beautiful that rum is? I'm gonna finish up with a little touch of Diet Coke. And then I have lime, right? And you need fresh, you need fresh squeezed lime in this. If you're not doing fresh squeezed lime, I don't know. Okay. 
I don't know. Okay, let's work on this chicken next. After I stir my cocktail. Cornbread's in the oven. The chicken is saying, what about me? Let's work on it. Now, I cut my ding off. Let me see. I don't know why, because y'all ordering stuff left and right. Come on, orders. Come on, or okay. Come on. Oh, but it's a text. Hold on. Here go the orders. Come on, order. <laughs> Um, what I'm getting ready to show you is just how beautiful the Darius Cook's knife. They have, so many of y'all have this. Thousands of you have this knife, okay? And I'm going to be honest with you. This is the only knife you will ever need in your life until my new four-piece bamboo set comes out, okay? Okay. So just FYI for now, the everyday knife is what we're using until, hold on, did I waste something in here? Oh, let me put a little, let me put a little tray down. Let's put a little tray down. All right, so nothing drips. Until the new one comes out, okay? All right, here we go. So we have this knife. I think you guys can see the board really well, all right? Let's see. Okay. Here we go. So this is a little nasty. You know that, okay? Because all of the chicken juice, we will my cocktail before I get some salmonella in my cocktail and be mad in the mood. Okay. Oh, this one's still kind of frozen a little bit. All right, so this one is real good. All right, I'm going to cut this chicken up, all right, as soon as I get him out of the plastic. Because let me tell you what he is in here good. Okay, hold on. I'm going to cut this up. I should have cut this up before I had this cocktail. That's what I should have did. Okay, you're going to be like, Darius, you know what you're doing? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes I do know. Today, not so much. Okay, let me get a bowl. So I can put this chicken in a bowl. Y'all hold on one second, okay? All right, I got me a little bowl. So as I cut him up, I can put him in my, in my bowl, all right? This is Henry. Henry, I want you to meet everyone. Henry, that's you too. Henry. That's TikTok. Henry, that's my Facebook personal page. Henry, this is my Facebook um, business, the fan page. And Henry, this is Instagram, okay? Henry said, it's his pleasure to meet y'all. That's what he just said. You can't hear him because he's speaking in the heavenly language, but that's what he just said, okay? Okay, so the first cuts I want to do are just on either side On either, on either side of the backbone, okay? Because what I want to do is outline where I want to cut into the backbone because I want to remove Henry's backbone, okay? And you need a real good knife to do that. If you need a knife, you can go to shopdariuscooks.com, see? And you can grab this one. Now... I'm going to pull out this backbone. And you can see Henry is still kind of frozen. Okay? So this is cool because the backbone comes out with that knife in one piece. Okay? Let me give him a little bit of a, a little water. Okay, y'all, hold on. Let me give him a little water because, you know, he's still kind of frozen on the inside a little bit. And I want to rinse off 
and get away some of the giblets and all that. I don't want that, okay? I don't eat internal organs. I'm not gonna start. Okay, okay, here go Henry. Now we can lay Henry down and we could take Henry apart, okay? So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna grab Henry's um, thigh and his leg, okay? Like this, see how good this knife is? Okay, hold on, I gotta look. Henry Juicy, all right? Henry Juicy. All right, then I'm gonna cut around, I'm gonna find the joint, and I'm gonna cut out Henry's leg, right, from his thigh. I'm keeping the bone into the thigh for a reason, okay? I'll do the same thing on Henry's other thigh and leg, okay? There's the quarter, but I'm gonna pull out and put the leg in there, and there's Henry's thigh, okay? He can go in there. Now we got to talk about this white meat. Let's pull away his wing. So here's the first wing. Let's pull away the second of Henry's wing, okay? Now this all I'ma use. I'ma hold on to this breastplate of righteousness because we can use this for other stuff. Stocks, stools, all kind of stuff. Okay, this we could use for all kinds of stuff, but I'm gonna hold on to the breast. I'm not gonna use it because I don't need it tonight. Let me make sure we all right in here. Oh, we good. Okay, so here's Henry's titties, and we're gonna save that for something else. We're gonna stuff him or do something else with him. At this point, we good with the rest of Henry's body, okay? I don't know about you, but we're gonna have to do a little sprucing up in between dealing with this, dealing with Henry, okay? A little sprucing up. I've seen that one video floating around well, they talking about, what's that one video they talking about? Uh, spread the butter on the chicken and then put the butter up for later. This is the reason why we don't eat at your house. Okay. Yes, these products really do work. I'm not going to sell you a product that don't work. You see how good that knife cut? This is the Darius Cook's cutting board. I ain't heard not one complaint, okay? I haven't heard one complaint over the Darius Cook's cutting board because it's amazing. The Darius Cook's everyday knife is amazing. The chef knife is amazing. And we finna use the um, Darius Cook's everyday skillet in one second. That knife cut through like butter. That, like, that knife cut through everything like butter. All right. Let me scam you. Shop Darius Cooks. <laughs> Shop Darius Cooks .com. Okay. I got legs, thighs, and wings. Put in whatever you want to put in. Okay. Please do not let me stop you on whatever you feel like you want to do, okay? Don't, do not let me stop you. I'm nobody. I just tell you what I like to use, you could use what you like to use, okay? You guys have seen this before. This is the Darius Cook's Everyday Skillet, and you legit can use it every single day, okay? Which, from the way y'all been tagging me and stuff, you've been using it every day. And I must say, very good. Okay? All right. 
All we did was put a little bit of olive oil on our stuff. And then I'm gonna add salt and pepper, okay? I'm gonna add salt and pepper, that's it. Will this get more seasoning? Yes. But to start, we're gonna make it real simple. Just with a good amount of salt and a good amount of pepper, okay? You have to put on your chicken condom. <laughs> Okay, you put on your chicken condoms. And then we can go in and do a sprinkle dinkle of salt. A good amount, because you know chicken don't taste like nothing unless you season it, all right? So that's like a good tablespoon and some change of salt and pepper. Okay, and then you can get in here with your hands and mix this around real good. Now, that skillet behind me, oh, if you like to wash your stuff more, you know how y'all be doing with the lime and the dishwashing liquid and whatever you normally do, do that, okay? I'm doing this. I'm putting this in skin side down. Okay, that's going in skin side down. I've already seasoned the bejesus out of it. So it's, it's good to go to start, all right? Once it's done, sear it on one side, we'll flip it, and I'll show you the rest. Meanwhile, we need some aromatics. Okay. Meanwhile, we need some aromatics. So why don't we do that now while that chicken, and I got it on like a medium, like a medium heat. I'm not looking to rush this process. I'm looking to take my time. I'm looking to have an easy evening with what's happening behind me. I'm not rushing this. I'm just sort of taking my time and enjoying the view. Okay. All right, let's talk about our veg. We need some onion in this, okay? So I'm using a um, red onion because the red onion was what? On sale. I don't know who you thought I was. <laughs> I like some sale around here. Okay. All right, let's peel away the outer parts and Why don't we dice this onion a little bit, huh? You see how easy this knife slices through everything? Okay, this is the Darius Cook's Everyday Knife. You can get it at shopdariuscooks.com and you have three codes. The first code is odd because I'm petty. The second code is concerning 
And the third court is denied. Why? <laughs> Ask sis. <laughs> I'm sure she'll do an interview with you. Because she, you know she got to get her uh, voice out. Okay. Marquis said, ma'am, what is your proof that he wants a vagina? Ma'am, why would you say that? Ma'am. And every time he said, ma'am, I died. Okay. Every time. <laughs> every time he said, ma'am, I died more and more. Okay. Now you can put whatever root vegetables you want to flavor your um, braised chicken. Okay. Whatever you like. I'm using the kind of like standard flavor components, which are onion, bell pepper, celery, and garlic. Because I really feel like You said, you is messy, queen. I know. I'm very messy. <laughs> and petty. You cut up. You're going to be a discount code next. Okay. You cut up. Your name going to be a discount code next. Do you know how many people are praying to be this level of petty where their enemies piss them off? And they make them a discount code. I said, I know. Okay. Wait, how are we looking? Are we looking good? Let me see. Okay, not quite. Oh, well, we might be. Yeah, not quite ready to flip yet. I got them a nice medium heat. All right. I'm not rushing this at all. Okay, I'm taking my time with my chicken. Onion. Bell pepper. We need celery. All right. Now you could do this with like carrots and parsnip and what else y'all be using? Um, fresh fennel, leek. All that works really well in here. But I just kind of feel like onion, bell pepper, and celery is a good starting base for your braised chicken. Because we're going to braise this. Okay. Put the celery up, but you want to dice it. And look how this knife glides through. You want to see this how it comes? Let me show you how it comes. It comes like this, okay? It comes in this box, and then you open it up. And then inside, once you open up the, the box, you have this beautiful, gorgeous, And there's the logo right there on, on there. You can get this at um, shopdariuscooks.com. Now, I don't know which code works, all right? But you have several to choose from. You have odd as a code. You have concerning as a code. And you have denied. As a code. All right, so you can use any one of those. Okay, onion, bell pepper, and celery are chopped, washed, ready to go. And I know what you're thinking. Where's the garlic? It's coming, okay? Let's flip this.
so let's flip this. You see that golden brown? This is what you want. on your chicken. See that? So you let it sear on one side, skin side down, and then you let it sear on the other side, okay? While we get everything else together. So we have our onion, we have our bellet, pepper, and we have some celery. You can put whatever you normally like, because some of y'all like fancy stuff to go in your braising situation. I'm gonna keep it very simple with some of the more, the more common um, things you find, okay? Now, on the garlic tip, I like a lot of garlic, all right? I don't know how much garlic you like, But I like a lot of garlic. So I'm going to slice this garlic. And do me a favor, please. Do not use that garlic in a jar stuff. Don't use that. I want you to use fresh garlic. It's so much better. The quality is amazing, all right? Put your garlic in a separate bowl because the garlic, we're not gonna cook it the same time we cook this because that's gonna be a mess, okay? Let's get a plate. What I'll do is I'll pull this chicken out. Is the chicken done? No, don't eat this yet. <laughs> you may not make it to see tomorrow, okay? Onion, bell pepper, celery into the pan. Okay, smells good the moment it goes in. I'm gonna hit it with a little touch of olive oil. All right, and then a little pinch of, now we're building the braising liquid, okay? We're building it now. So a little piece of salt because we want layers of flavor from the beginning. A little piece of black pepper. All right, now we give this a bit of a stir. All right, you give that a little bit of a stir and you let that sort of come together and have a good time, all right? Let's think about Flavors. Let's think about what goes good with what at this point, right? So this is where you could be creative if you want to. Or you could be traditional, right? But just think about it. Onion, bell pepper, celery. Butter just goes, right? Butter just says, hi, can you add me? And you go, you know what? <laughs> Of course, I can add you, all right? So a little butter is going to go in there, okay? Let me get to the fridge. All right. Any other herb situation you want to do at this point is good to go. So I've got some fresh thyme and some fresh oregano. Both, any herbs. 
oregano, thyme, basil, marjoram, savory, whatever you have. This is now, what about garlic paste? Garlic paste is cool. I'm good with garlic paste. But that fresh, I mean that garlic that's in the jar, I hate it. I'm adding stems and leaves together because they all have flavor, okay? So I'm putting stems and leaves of fresh thyme. Matter of fact, let me put a little bit more. Okay, and stems and leaves of oregano because you could always pull it out. <laughs> if you want to. <laughs> Some of you like keeping it in. Okay, and I got fresh oregano. It's going to go in there as well. <laughs> okay, now. <laughs> I don't know why y'all watch me. Don't forget, you guys can use the codes odd. Or oh, y'all using them. I see you. I got my phone on, on Do Not Disturb. Odd, concerning, or denied. Okay. And then that can be yours. All right, let's give this a big stir. And look at what we have. It's just in the same pan, those juices of the chicken have sort of cooked in there. Now we have this onion, bell pepper, celery situation that smells outstanding. And I'm going to take the garlic now. So this is all that sliced garlic. And I'm going to put that sliced garlic in there. You can put as little or as much as you like. I like a lot of sliced garlic in mine. Okay? Let's deglaze. I got some white wine. Chardonnay. Um, Sauvignon Blanc. Any white wine could work. Okay? So a little bit of white wine. in there, and then I'm gonna fill up the rest of it with a little water, okay? Use stock if you have it, I don't have any, but I do have water, and I got chicken bouillon. So essentially, what I do have is this sort of idea of a, a fortified um, stock, all right? So let's do a little chicken bouillon, I keep that on hand for dishes just like this. All right, a little chicken bouillon goes in. So now we have stock, all right? Let's season this with a few really good things. Y'all hold the line one second while I grab what I need, okay? Out the cabin, y'all hold on one second. I'll grab some of this. I will grab some of this and some of this. And I must don't, I know I got some garlic powder somewhere. I just don't know where I put it. I put it up. Oh, here it goes. Found it. All right, so let's season this, okay? So I got a little garlic powder, as if the garlic wasn't enough, because it wasn't, okay? This is, um, these are bay leaves, dry bay leaves. I always keep these on hand because the dry bay leaves make everything taste like it's been cooking all day, even though it hasn't. Okay, bay leaves add that sort of like all day cooked flavor, fresh or dried, up to you. Okay, onion powder. Because if I'm gonna use um, garlic powder, chances are I'm using onion powder. I got some dried rosemary. That goes in. A little bit of dried fennel, that goes in. 
and a touch of Herbs de Provence that goes in. And I feel like I'm on this like Thanksgiving kick, so a little bit of uh, poultry seasoning or sage goes in as well, all right? Just to add it, because the thing about poultry seasoning is you only use it to make like dressing and that's pretty much it. It's a great addition to like soups, stews, stocks, things like that. Makes it taste real good, okay? All right, so let's give this a big stir. Okay, and this is pretty much it. Um, if I was feeling fancy, I may add like a can of tomatoes to this, like, like diced tomatoes. I don't think I have a can, but if I did, I would put that in. I see a can of tomatoes. Hold on one second. I see a can. Okay, I see a can of tomatoes. So these are like petite diced tomatoes, a little bit of acidity, a little bit of sweetness. Let's add these in. Okay, and this is now, and I added those in with the, the whole can, okay? Like the juice and everything, okay? So this is now the uh, braising liquid for our chicken, all right? Speaking of braising liquid, we need a braising pan, okay? This is the Darius Cook's Braising pan. This is the emerald and green, which so many of you have. This comes in emerald. It also comes in crimson. All right. You can get it in emerald, you can get it in crimson, or you can have it in pearl. It's up to you. All right. Um, it's also 70. It's also 70% off. All right. So if you go to shopdariuscooks.com, use the code denied. That'll get you 70% off enameled cookware, all right? Which I'm using today, okay? All right, so let's take this beautiful braising liquid, right? The white wine, the stock, the herbs. And we'll throw that beautiful braising liquid right in here, okay? Now, on top of that braising liquid, we need to put in the remainder of our chicken, all right? So we're gonna leave the chicken exposed. Remember, this is not cooked all the way through, okay? So please don't go out here trying to eat this. You're gonna be shamed, all right? We're gonna put this chicken right in here with all the juices. My oven's at a nice, comfortable 350 degrees. Let me see if I could run this in here. All right, I'm gonna throw this right into the oven. Okay, so in the oven now, we have our pound cake cornbread, which I hope will be done in time and then the braised chicken. So now we have two more things to do. Let's work on the rice dish, okay? It's called Hoppin' John. But first, we need a refill. Is it soup? No, that's the braising liquid. Yeah, I'm finna refill my glass right now. It's the braising liquid. You could, yes, you absolutely could do this in a crock pot. At this point, in a slow cooker, you can do this in a um, pressure cooker, whatever you want to do it in. But I'm just using it right in the good old oven to show you how it works. And I do think there's a braised chicken recipe in one of the cookbooks, okay? Speaking of cookbooks, if you don't have them, you're missing out, okay? 
This is 101 recipes for your holiday table. This is stories from my grandmother's kitchen. This one is everyday keto. Okay, thank you. I know there's a braised chicken in this one. And then this one is vegan, but with soul. Thank you. And then this one is the latest one. It's apply pressure, but with soul. All right, which you can get at shopdariuscooks.com. Thousands of you already have these books and I appreciate it, okay? I think there's a braised chicken one in here somewhere. But I done had a, a few too many drinks, so logic has seemed to escape me. <laughs> Let me grab some ice so that I can refresh my Zacapa. I'll admonish you to hold one second while I do that. Thank you. I'm back. I know you missed me. Ice. And a shot or two of Zacapa rum. This is like our favorite. Not just me, but my friend Kendria and my friend Kim. This is like our favorite rum. We love Zacapa. We discovered it, we were traveling in Mexico, right? And we're all around Mexico. We are in Playa del Carmen. So we in Playa del Carmen, and I don't even know who tried it first, but somebody in the group tried Zacapa first, and we're like, what is this? So let me tell you, there are two things that we like. The Zacapa is a whole vibe, number one, okay? The other vibe is the Mezcalita, all right? It's like a margarita, but it's made with Mezcal. And Mezcal is like a smoky um, tequila. And they put these like candy chili peppers in Three minimum, okay? Three minimum. We be so toasted heading back to that hotel. It don't make no sense, okay? Thank you. Okay. You should also know one of my other favorite ingredients, like, you know I love bacon. Love, love, love. I had the gastric bypass, so I have not had bacon in a month, actually over a month at this point. You could use bacon for this. Or they have smoked pork jowl, which I gotta tell you something. It's like the next best thing, okay? Smoked pork jowl is the cheek of the pig that they smoke very much like bacon, okay? So you can treat pork jowl pretty much the same way you would treat bacon. It looks very similar to bacon. It has a luscious, beautiful sort of smokiness to it that I think just... I mean, it's just, it's just outstanding, if you ask me. Okay. It has a beautiful uh, smokiness to it, just like bacon does, right? So we're going to treat it very similar to bacon. So I'm just going to cut it into strips first. Right? Look at that. 
You've seen me use this for like making my turnip greens and my collard greens. You've seen me use pork jowl forever. Can you use smoked turkey for this? Eaters that follow me, yes. You certainly can use this for any of that and you would be in great territory. Just cook the um, smoked turkey down so that it gets like manageable and then follow the rest of the process I'm getting ready to do and you'll be good to go. Um, can you use beef bacon for this? Sure, absolutely. But for those of us who are not Muslim and we enjoy pork, there is nothing like this in a Hoppin' John. It is outstanding, okay? All right, so, cold pan, right? This is the same pan I just used to um, do that chicken in. Cold pan, and I'm gonna put the pork jowl in here. The idea is to do this on like a medium heat. What I'll do is that'll start to like, pull out the oils, pull out the bacon, the pork fat, and give us a really beautiful base to cook this rice in. Now, I am using the Darius Cooks Everyday Skillet. If you don't have one, you certainly can get it. at shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code uh, either odd or denied or concerning at checkout to save 50%. on the everyday skillet, okay? Medium heat. And we'll let that get to going, okay? Now, we need flavor. <laughs> Somebody said, no more pork? Not over here. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you what don't, what don't let you down is pork, okay? I like bacon, pork chops, now, I don't like internal orchids. I don't eat chitlins and all that. I don't eat that. But a good ham hock smoked. A good ham hock smoked. A good ham hock, I will do. Every day, all day, twice on Sunday. Okay? Bacon, I'm all in. Pork chops, I'm all in. Sausage, I'm all in. I had kind of a Koneka sausage earlier. Now, we're making Hopping John. Hopping John is traditional um, for like New Year's because it includes black eyed peas. You could add collard greens to your Hopping John. I just don't. There's no reason why. So if you want to add, you know, mustards or turnips or collards, go ahead, okay? All right, let's chop up some bell pepper. And these are all things that, again, will help really flavor the Hoppin' John. Let me just say one thing. I don't know how y'all feel, but I feel good. Thank you. y'all feel but I'm like Stephanie Mills I feel good all over sweet things you say to me I love you I love you I feel good. You understand me? Okay, this is my bell pepper. Here is the onion. 
You need the onion in this. Okay, you need the onion. Okay, you need the onion. in this, okay? And then I'm gonna add celery to mine as well, okay? I'm gonna put this onion bell pepper in the pan. That's gonna work out with my pork jowl. Let me show you. Pork jowl, onion, bell pepper. I'm gonna give it a little pinch of olive oil because it needs it. Okay. And then I've got some celery over here. Cause what we doing, cooking. Okay, I don't know if you knew this or not, but we are getting down. Right, same knife. Let's dice up a whole rib of celery. I just cut the celery in strips first, like thin strips, and then I can dice it. Like this, okay? All right, now let's talk about flavor, okay? Because you know I'm a huge proponent of layers of flavor from the very beginning, yes? Thank y'all. If you are not having a cocktail, what are you doing? If you are not are y'all drinking or y'all am I y'all let me drink by myself? Hey TikTok. Dining with Darius Cooks Tour. We just finished yesterday. Or uh what's today? Yeah, we came back yesterday. We just finished 2022. Great run. 176 dinner parties. If you want a ticket for next year. Go to shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code December22. Save you $100 off tickets for next year. Ain't that many left. Okay. Layers of flavor. A little bit of salt, a little pepper. All right. And I wish you could smell what's happening in this house. Do we need garlic? Yes, we need garlic. Let me check the oven. Hold on one second. Why well, be shame? Oh. I hope my cornbread is done in time. Cornbread takes about an hour and some change. So hopefully it's done in time. Okay. All right. Garlic cloves. Smash. All right. There's one. There's two. There's three, there's four, there's five, there's six, there's seven, there's eight, garlic cloves smashed on the Darius Cook's cutting board. All right, and then I'm gonna put all this in with the onion, bell pepper, celery, pork jowl. So you can just imagine this knife you can get at shopdariuscooks.com. 
Use the code either odd or concerning at checkout to save 50% on this knife. Where I've been? Mind to everybody else's business. <laughs> Is this brown liquor? Yes. Okay, look what we got. Look at that. You got pork jowl happening. You have onion. You have celery. You have bell pepper. You have what we call flavor, okay? Now, let's talk about the rice because we're doing all this for one reason and one reason only. And that's to make Hoppin' John we need the rice. I'm not loose. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> I might be a little bit. <laughs> Why y'all let me sit up here and drink this Zacapa like this? Let me get the rice. Hold on one second. Now, normally I have some fancy rice like basmati or something like that. This all I got is Camilla. Princess Camilla. <laughs> I got Princess Camilla rice, okay? Now, our rice is normally one to two. So we use one parts rice and two parts liquid. In this case, let's see if I could properly measure out. Okay, this is one cup of rice. We need two cups of Princess Camilla rice. I don't know where I got this from. I must have went to London and got this. Okay. Now, two cups come right up to the brim on this. So we could use this as our measuring vessel. Okay. Chef, you a mess. I'm not a mess. I'm good. This is how you know the food going to be good. Yes, it's arroz camilla. That's what this is, okay? Okay, this is two cups of rice. I'm gonna put this right in here with the onion, the bell pepper, the celery, the garlic, and the pork jowl. No, I do not rinse the rice because what will happen, right, is that the oil and stuff We'll toast the rice, okay? Now, I also have black eyed peas, frozen black eyed pre peas. The reason I have frozen is because frozen will stand up better than canned black eyed peas. If you want to, it's up to you. You can use the fresh ones that you soak. I don't have time for that, so I'm gonna use about a cup and a half. Oh wait. <laughs> That's too much. Hold on one second. About a cup and a half of frozen black eyed peas, okay? You know what I really want to add to this if I had some? Is I would add some fresh okra if I had some. I don't have any, 
so I can't add it, okay? Okay, you want to stir because you want all of that olive oil and pork fat to kind of mix with the rice. Do not get on the phone. Do not call your girlfriend. Talking about, did you see what happened to Chef Carmen? No, don't do that, okay? Now, the ratio is one to two. So we used about one of these of rice. So we're going to use about two of these of water. That's two of these of water. Now, let me tell you what you could use. I am not sauced. I'm good. No, I didn't put it on the floor. I have a garbage can sitting right here. I know it's a recycling, but it's a garbage can, okay? You could use stock, all right? I don't have any made, so I'm using water and chicken bouillon, okay? No, you do not rinse the rice. Do not rinse it. You're toasting the rice in oil, which gets rid of all of the starch, okay? But you can burn this real easily. So do not go watching the stories. Don't go trying to figure out RST, LNE. Don't do that. Okay, because you can mess this up real good. You see that? Look at that. So you want to make sure that all of the... Um, I use two cups of rice. Yeah, I know. Two cups of rice and then four cups of water. I know what I use. Don't do that to me. I'm not that gone just yet. I'm still here a little bit. What happened to Chef Carmen? Oh, Lord, it's a mess. Okay. What I said, do, I forgot. But watch. <laughs> watch the replay and do what I said, okay? Now, this is the water, and after the rice has toasted, the rice is going to be toasted like me. It's going to turn a brownish color, like a light brown. We can add in the water, okay? Now, we need to season the water a little bit. Let me check the oven. Hold on. Looks good. Okay, we gotta season the water a little bit. Everybody just calm down. Okay, I got it, just calm down. Okay. Let's add a little bit of garlic powder to the water. And then I'm going to tell you a secret. Come here one second. Bring your bring the device whatever you watching me on. You <laughs> you might be watching me on Instagram or YouTube or Facebook, or TikTok, okay? Here's what you do. You put a little bit of chicken bouillon mixed with a little bit of beef bouillon. You mix them together, and that is where the Lord resides. If you're looking for Jesus, he in between a little bit of chicken, a little bit of beef, all right? A little beef. Not that much, a little chicken. Where's God? Right there. Now, until these people write me a check, 
Because they ain't wrote me no check. I can't tell you what brand this is. But a lot of y'all are very smart. And you know what brand this is. Amen. <laughs> okay. We also need a little bit of Herbs de Provence or Italian seasoning. Okay. Let's give this a mix and let this cook. You have to be very careful. <laughs> you have to be very careful on mixing or else you will start a fire. Much like I've just done. Okay? Please allow me a moment. I gotta check, I gotta check the oven to see how our cornbread is doing and how our braised chicken is doing. So I could show you that, okay? So y'all just hold on one second, okay? You just hold the line. Thank you. Okay, look. Our cornbread. Almost ready, not quite. Okay, so we're gonna put our cornbread back in. And our British chicken is down there looking good, okay? It's evaporating beautifully. I cooked the braised chicken with the lid off, okay? Why is the lid off on the braised chicken? I'm glad you asked. The lid is off on the braised chicken so that the liquid can escape. Once the liquid escapes what's left in the pan, it's flavor, okay? Let's make one last cocktail for the evening. I have a little ice left. And I have some Zacapa. Okay. Woo! Okay, into our Zacapa. Why don't we add a little bit of Diet Coke? All right. And then we'll finish our Diet Coke with a squeeze. A fresh lime juice. Cheers. Uh -huh. The name of the liquor is called Zacapa 21. It's a rum from Mexico, a rum and coke. Why I get this shirt? Somebody bought it for me for dining with Darius Cooks. The owner tagged me in something or something like that and said, thank you for wearing my shirt. I don't know where I got it from. I forgot who gave it to me. Somebody said the food burning. Your mama burning. The food is not burning. Okay, what about the sodium levels? You don't say that when you be at um, Popeye's. Okay, let's make the onion and tomato salad. Y'all ready? If you're just joining us, Zacapa, rum, 
from Mexico. Somebody got this for me on Sunday from Dining with Darius Cooks. And I made sure I brought it home with me. Okay. In the oven, we have a pound cake cornbread finishing up. We also have a braised chicken, a white wine braised chicken in the oven. On top of the stove, we have a Hoppin' John. Our Hoppin' John has pork jowl instead of bacon. You can use bacon or sausage or smoked sausage or whatever. Onion, bell pepper, celery, garlic. Tons of herbs and rice with I kind of forget what I put in there. But if you rewind, <laughs> if you watch the replay and rewind the replay, you'll see what's in here. Now, we need a little something on the side to brighten things up. Don't you think? Huh? She said, all these new people in here, please sit back and learn something. Jeez, he ain't new to this. He tell him, Janelle. Janelle, tell him. Oh, black eyed peas. That's what I put in there. The thing is, if this is your first time watching me, you probably believe Twitter. And you say, he don't know how to cook. You use wine, you would drink. He don't know how to cook. You right. He don't know how to cook. Watch how this food come out. Now you can go to shopdariuscooks.com. I'm going to say it again. Shopdariuscooks.com. You got three, four codes to use. If you want tickets off Dining with Darius Cooks, it's December 22. If you want 70% off enamel cookware, the code is denied. If you want 50% off everything else on the site, you got two codes. One is odd. The other one is concerning. Put everything you want in your cart. Use all four codes. Until something happened. Thank you. Now, I have tomato. Hold on one second. I also have a pound cake cornbread. Cornbread pound cake. Pound cake cornbread. Pound cake cornbread. It might be done. Let me stick a knife in here and see if it come out clean. It came out clean. Somebody said something smart about my pound cake cornbread. I thought I thought somebody had said something smart about I'll put it on the side and let it cool for a little bit before I pour that out. But we'll talk about that in one second. Let's make our watermelon salad, okay? So these are tomatoes. These are sugar bomb tomatoes. Let's give them a rinse. All right, let's give these a rinse. And why don't we cut these up a little bit, okay? They're on the vine, so we love that. 
that they ripen on the vine, so they're going to stay super sweet. Now, I'm going to tell you one thing about me. You probably didn't know this. I do not like raw tomatoes unless they're treated in some kind of way. So what I'm doing tonight by adding tomatoes to uh, watermelon and onion, I love that. Okay. Hold on one second. Now, the liquid, okay, this is our Hopping John, okay? This is the pork jowl, the onion, bell pepper, celery. One to two, two parts rice, no, one part rice, two part liquid. It's cooked out. You can hear it start to crackle. That means the liquid is cooked out. We can turn the heat off and put a lid on. I don't have a lid for this skillet. So I'm gonna put another skillet on top, okay? I'm gonna let that sit for 10 minutes and then I'll fluff it with a fork and it'll be perfect, okay? And by that time, we should be able to eat, get ready to eat all of our, our food, okay? Because the cornbread is like, what's up? I'm ready for it, okay? Okay, tomatoes are being chopped. I honestly think that this salad is much prettier with like all of those like colored tomatoes, the ones that are like yellow and orange and all that stuff. I like those, okay? Tomatoes off the vine. They've been washed. Come back here, you. Don't go anywhere. I'm just quartering. So I'm cutting in half and then cutting in half again. All right, cutting in half. And then cutting in half. Again. All right, so those are our tomatoes. All right, I also picked up some watermelon. Okay, that was like already cut up for us. I don't think it's that sweet because. It's not watermelon season, but let me see. I gotta determine how sweet this is so I know how much sugar to add. Let me see. It's not bad, actually. I'll cut them into like matchsticks. Okay, it's not bad. It's not terribly, it's got a little sweetness to it. Yeah, it's got a little sweetness to it. So this is like watermelon and tomato, which I think goes together beautifully. Okay. Yes. When I tell you I am toasted, baby. Toasted. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay, let's do a little bit of um, a little onion. 
okay? I feel like a little onion would like wake this up. Watermelon, tomato, a little red onion. Yes? Why don't we cut him up a little bit? Okay. Let's put him away. And then we'll only work with half of this onion. And we'll do very small, thin dices of, I mean, thin strips of like red onion, okay? Like as thin as you can get it. All right, so we have tomato, watermelon, and like super thin onion. Hold on one second, wait, it's not. Hold on, I ain't cutting all the way through. Super thin. Okay. All right, let's season her up. I don't know if it's a her or a he, but a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and then a little bit of sugar. All right, to this salad, I think it needs one more sort of like fresh component. So I've got some cucumber. All right, which I feel like all goes well together. Cucumber, watermelon, tomato. Hello. It's a party. All right, this is an English cucumber. Comes wrapped in plastic. So here's what we normally do. You want to remove the seeds out of the middle like that, okay? And then we'll give him a quick little rinse and then we'll slice him as thin as we can, okay? On the bias, so he's pretty. And you can't do this unless you have the Darius Cook's Everyday Knife, which you can get at shopdariuscooks.com. Okay, use the code DENIED at checkout to save 70% on enamel cookware. And then you can use ODD or CONCERNING at checkout to save 50%. Okay, so this is beautiful. Here's what we've done. We've done thin slices. We can mix this up together. This has the salt, a little bit of pepper, some sugar. There's also watermelon and onion hanging out in here, okay? Let's do a little piece of oil. So you got a little bit of um, olive oil. All right, extra virgin. And then we need some vinegar. So I have a little bit, this is a raspberry champagne vinegar. Apple cider, rose, anything works, okay? Couple of teaspoons worth. And then I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of uh, honey or agave or whatever you got. I got a little bit of agave. This is light agave. All right, and then we just give it a stir. The longer this sits, 
obviously the better it tastes. It does need a little bit of garlic, so we'll do a little bit of sliced garlic. Somebody said that's too much. Shut up. Nobody asked you, all right? If it's too much, when you make it on your channel, then you put what you wanna put in yours, all right? All right, a little bit of sliced garlic. All right, and I'm thinly slicing two cloves of garlic in here. And then I got a little bit of cilantro. All right, just the slightest bit of a little like fresh herbal essence, I think is always great in this. My personal opinion. Yes, I told her to shut up. Okay, like mind your business. Ain't nobody asking you nothing, okay? All right, a little bit of fresh cilantro, freshly washed. If you're one of those people who you don't like cilantro, you don't have to include it, all right? But I love cilantro. Okay, so a little watermelon, tomato, cucumber salad situation. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, yes, God. She delicious. Yes, she good. Mm. Mm. The little bite of vinegar with the sugar and the olive oil. Mm. It's so amazing in this. It really is good. Mmm. Mmm. It's delicious. Okay. Let's work on one last thing. Oh, beautiful. Before it's time to eat, and that is a little compound butter to go with our um, cornbread. Okay. Now... I left behind a half a stick of butter on purpose. All right, I'm gonna put this other little half a stick of butter in here. I forgot what I used this with, but it's fine. I'm gonna do a quarter teaspoon of salt. Okay, I'm also going to do a little pinch of, I got some right here, little pinch of brown sugar, all right, so we have brown sugar, butter, salt, let's throw in a little squeeze of honey. Uh, that much. And why don't we throw in the scantest amount of vanilla extract, okay? Like, whoop, that's it right there. Done. Okay, let's grab a spoon and let's give this a workout, okay? So this is just a little bit of like a beautiful compound butter because I feel like if you're gonna have this beautiful pound cake cornbread, you need something to garnish it and go with it, all right? So a little compound butter of brown sugar and honey is good. You can put like some pecans in this if you wanted to. It's up to you. Whatever you wanted to put in here, you can, right? If you wanna put like cinnamon or cloves or whatever you like 
you can do that. You see what I'm saying? So now we have a gorgeous little compound butter to go with our cornbread. Now, speaking of cornbread, here is our pound cake cornbread, okay? She's right here, and she's been cooking and resting, and now we're going to cut out a slice of... our pound cake cornbread. I'll go camera to camera so you guys can see just how the pound cake cornbread turned out. Okay, you can see she's still hot. Okay, she still got some heat to her. So you obviously want to allow her to rest. Okay, but she's right here resting. Okay, what else is done right now? Our braised chicken is done, okay? She's been braising, she's been in the oven. She's, I don't know if it's a she or a he. I'm just saying she, cause I'm, you know, a little gay. But let us grab our chicken out of the oven. Okay, she's been braising. She smells amazing. Okay, I don't want to burn myself, so hold the line. Do you see her? Do you see? Do you see? Do you see? She's been brazing. She smells really good. No, no, no. She smells amazing. She smells really, really good. Okay. Here's our brace. And then look. If you wanted to, here's what you do. You serve her with the lid on. Very bourgeois, very shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code denied. It will save you 20%, 70%. Forgive me. It will save you 70% on enameled cookware. And look what you can do. Okay? All right. Now, we also have our skillet. For those of you who are complaining that I don't have a lid to go with this skillet, buy two skillets and now you have a lid. Okay? Off comes this lid. Look at our hopping. Look at our hopping jar. We'll fork it with a, uh, we'll fluff it with a fork. This has the pork jowl, but you could use beef if you wanted to. Look at how fluffy this rice has now become. Okay, with the onion, the bell pepper, the celery, the garlic, and the pork jowl. She's beautiful, is she not? Let's make a plate. are or where you're watching one thing we did tonight was cook now you can get any of these items from shop dariuscooks.com just use the code either odd or concerning or denied at checkout and you can save 
70% on enamel cookware, or you can save 50% on everything else off the website. If you want a ticket for Dining with Darius Cooks for next year, we start up in a couple of weeks. You can use the code DECEMBER22, and that'll save you $100 off all tickets. Why those words for the codes? Because this lady named Melanie's Ford countersued me for her lawyer's fees. They were denied. And if you look at the judge's, um, the judge's recommendation, it says the respondent's action by her own admission, were odd, O-D-D, and concerning to the court. And I'm petty as fuck. So therefore, my discount codes are odd, my discount codes are concerning, and my discount codes are denied. I'll take a little saucer. Thank you. And I will add a little bit of my rice to the bottom of this plate. This is my Hopping John that has the pork gyro the onion, the garlic, and the bell pepper. So good. Okay. Now, let's add a piece of chicken on top of this. Okay. So we have the braised chicken that I'll bring over. Okay. We did this in my Darius Cook's Emerald and Gold braising pan. All right, if I'm gonna braise chicken, I'm gonna braise it right in here. I'm gonna give me a thigh. This is the white wine braised chicken. Let's see, here's a thigh. Okay, with all that beautiful, lovely braising liquid. Why don't we add a little bit of the sauce? the top of this, okay, with the onion, the bell pepper, the bay leaf, the tomato. Mm. Yep. All right, now, on the side, I do have a little bit of a watermelon cucumber and tomato salad, just for a little freshness. All right, little red wine vinegar, some cucumber, some onion, thinly sliced. Good to go. And then, let us not forget our lovely pound cake cornbread with a slice ready to go. And with the pound cake cornbread, I'm going to add some of this beautiful honey butter that we made with a little vanilla, a little brown sugar, a little salt, and some fresh butter, okay? A little bit of honey butter. You could put pecans in if you like. But here we go, all right? Now, you can garnish this however you wanna garnish it. But all we need to do at this point is bow our heads and say grace, grace. All right, let me try a little piece of this braised chicken, okay? This chicken was cooked in that white wine. 
with the stock and the aromatics. Look at that. All right. Hot. Hot. Okay. That's probably too big of a piece for me to chew. Hold on one second. I got a new stomach. That's much better. Okay, here we go. Child. Child. Listen. Listen. Come on, man. Talk about luscious and moist and flavorful. Mmm. All right, here's the tomato and onion salad. Let me see. Mmm. 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 So good. Crispy, crunchy, sweet, acidic. Mm. Let's try some of the Hoppin' John. Okay. With the pork jowl. You see that? Let me see. Let me see. It's hot. Mmm. That thing is smoky, moist. Okay. I got one more bite in me. And I'm saving it for the cornbread, okay? This is the pound cake cornbread with that beautiful honey butter that we made. Okay, you see that? It's hot. Mm. Oh, my God. This here don't make no sense. This cornbread don't make no sense whatsoever. Okay, one more bite and I'm done. Mm. Finish. Recipes like this, you know where to find them. Darius Cooks TV, which will be coming DariusCooksApp.com. Two things I want to tell you, as I always do, because I am stuffed. Food is my life. Life, it's my food. Until next time, I got to wish you a happy cooking from my heart to yours. All right? Great time tonight. I love you. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, everybody.